Whether it's Mega, Lego, or even stamps that you collect, it's only a matter of time before you start referring to a certain item as a white whale item, a collectible that's either too expensive or just too rare for you to be able to obtain. And so it becomes more of a pipe dream than a reality of you actually owning that item. For most people in the Mega Halo world, I would imagine those white whale items are the six signature series sets released between 2012 and 2018. Due to the fact that I didn't start seriously collecting Halo Mega until 2016, I didn't get my hands on my first signature series set until 2018, which was the still available at retail Covenant Spirit dropship. I managed to get my hands on one through a seller on Amazon UK that was importing them from the States for £153, which in hindsight was a steal. I then went on to import two more from Amazon.com as they were on special offer at the time for just over $100. But by the time you put shipping and import taxes on, they ended up being more expensive. I begrudged those costs at the time, but looking at what they cost now, no regrets whatsoever. Once I'd experienced how impressive a Mega Halo signature series set is, I made it my mission to one day, hopefully be able to get my hands on one of every set. But even back in 2018, the older sets were already skyrocketing in price compared to their original retail. As I couldn't bring myself at the time to pay the £350 for the Pelican Airbase, the £400 for the Mammoth, or the £600 for the Scarab, or Forward Onto Dawn, which were all way above retail, I opted to not buy any more Signature Series sets for another year until the UNSC Infinity came out, and you could get that from retail. I then imported two of these sets from the States at retail for $175. And that became my second signature series set. So in 2019, I was two down, four to go. After the Infinity, I continued to monitor prices of the final four sets, which sadly continued to go up in value as they have done to this day. The fact that the UNSC Infinity was the last set that Mega created only added to the problem of the retired sets increasing in value. And once again, I wondered if that would be the last signature series set I would get my hands on. But then one evening in November 2020, I was doing my usual eBay checks and came across a new listing for a brand new inbox UNSC Mammoth. Buy it now. £250. I couldn't believe it. I hit the button instantly, got the bid, and sure enough, it turned up well packaged, mint condition, brand new in box. I couldn't believe my luck. The Mammoth was actually the third signature series set that Mega released in 2013 came with 2030 pieces and still to this day 11 years later is a really solid good looking build and once again i wondered if that would be the last signature series set i would get my hands on and it was for nearly two years before a viewer reached out to me introducing himself and letting me know that he wanted to try and help out with my collection by selling me one of his brand new in box NMPD Pelican Airbase sets for its original retail. Obviously, I was completely blown away to be able to pick one of these sets up at retail this many years after its original release was just incredible. I've since become very good friends with this viewer who also has a YouTube channel, which you may know as Mega Chief Constructs Creator. If you haven't checked him out already, check him out after this video. He's got some very interesting builds. So by the middle of 2022, I now had four of the six signature series sets, the Pelican Airbase being the fourth set that Mega produced that was thrown an awful lot of shade on its original release, but I think has become one of those sets that a lot of people wish they hadn't passed up at the time. It's now 2024, so two years later, and I am very, very happy to say I have managed to get my hands on one of the final two Signature Series sets, brand new in box. Better yet, 
I only paid £275 for it. I won this as a bid on eBay UK. I must admit, once the auction had ended, I was convinced something was going to go wrong with this sale. I just thought it's too good to be true. I emailed the seller almost straight away, letting him know I'd won the bid. He confirmed everything was fine. I asked him if he could make sure that he packaged it well, because obviously these things are worth a lot of money, a lot more than what I paid for it. He assured me he packaged it well. He sent these kind of things before and assured me that there'd be no problems whatsoever. I thought fantastic and lo and behold this package turned up. So anyone that knows what they're talking about with the Halo Signature Series will know in here is either a Forward Unto Dawn or a Covenant Scarab. That's the first and second set that Mega produced for the Signature Series Halo line. The Forward Unto Dawn being the first set and the Covenant Scarab being the second set. Obviously everyone will have their favourites but in all honesty both of those sets are just pure white whale sets. They were always going to be the most difficult ones to get, which is why they've become the last ones for me to get. And as you can see, as I unwrap this thing, the seller did an absolute first class job. I went through four layers of packaging, including bubble wrap and all the securing tape. But once I got through it all, it's time to reveal that the fifth and final signature series set in my collection is the Forward Onto Dawn. And just look at it. I cannot express how excited I was to receive this and get it unwrapped for my collection. This is pure Halo Mega Blocks nostalgia and what a set to have after all these years. As you can see, the box unfortunately is not in mint condition. There's definitely some shelf wear around the edges and there's a small crack in the front of the box. But for £275 instead of £1,500, which is the going rate for these when they're new in box and mint condition, I can definitely handle a few scuffs and scratches. I'm just really, really pleased to have one. I've never owned one before. I don't have one open and for me this is a real golden moment in Halo Mega Blocks collecting. So that's five of the Signature Series sets collected which means there's only one left to go which is the Covenant Scarab and what a set it is. I've never built one, never owned one, I've never even seen one in real life. I can only look at the pictures on the internet like most people do. So will I be fortunate enough to pick one up in the future? Hopefully. Am I prepared to pay £1,500 for one? Absolutely not. I'll just do what I've always done, keep an eye on the selling sites and hope I can strike it lucky one more time. As for the future of the Signature Series sets, it's a real shame that Mega stopped producing these. I don't think any of us really truly know why they stopped producing them. But general opinion across social media would suggest that people would like these Signature Series sets to come back Given how long it's been since they created one and their improvements and advancements in their build techniques, I can only imagine if they do create a new one, it will be pretty special. So until then, all we can do is keep our fingers crossed, keep collecting and stay positive. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.